Hi guys, hope you're doing good. It's so cold. I hope you're keeping warm. Um, I wanted to share this week's hack or tip with you. And um, if some of or some of you might know that um, a few years ago, over the last few years, you know we've we've gone through through some trouble, my family and I financial trouble, and there were times when we didn't have water or electricity for various reasons and a while back i came up with an idea um, for a shower so i'm gonna share the link with you with the blog post of um, how i got to this idea but this um, hack can be used um, still today even if you have geyser even if you have hot water or running water but there are days especially you know when it's come and um, have load shedding and so forth that you just need um, a hot shower so I'm gonna show you I'm in the bathroom um, this is a plastic juice container right now this one has seen better days but this was our shower for close to two years while we were living in Joburg. Um, you can see at the bottom, <laughs> um, I've used some silicone to seal it because it fell and it broke. But this um, is a lifesaver. Um, and I'll show you how I use it. Now I'm trying to use my hand and trying to show you. So. I'm going to move into the shower and I'm going to show you, just check on the top of my head, there's a hook, nothing fancy, it's a bracket, not even a bracket, but I made it a bracket. Um, and that is, uh, it stays there, it's permanently there. And on the days when we don't have access to water or um, the geyser is down for one or other reason, oh sorry, I will just fill this with i'll cook boil water on my gas stove i'll do the temperature um testing before half you know whatever the ratio half 70 a hot 30 percent cold and then this ooh, sorry about this <laughs> i'm trying to be okay i'm back <laughs> i tried to keep the, my hand on the phone and try to hang hang this <laughs> makeshift shower on the bracket so so this is how it will look um, once it um, hangs and it's more or less it's a little bit higher than the the shower head but you will fill this with with water um, the right temperature that you want and then you open the the little um, oh, the little handle and then you'll stand under this and you'll take a nice warm shower so that is my shower hack and I promise you at one stage you might need this um, and you know what the nice thing is you can actually okay let me let me just look back at myself it's just easier um, I'm just gonna sit down in the bath. Um, so you can actually measure the amount of water that you use because that's a 10 liter. And when we were living like that, um, you know, in Joburg, we could exactly tell you how much water we used every day. So the girls would usually share a full um, container like that. So five liters per person. Um, Ashley and I would also sometimes share the water so it makes makes you very conscious also makes you conscious of the energy that you use you know once you've boiled the water you don't want to waste the water so you always think of you know what do I need to can I wash now can I wash my hair obviously with my hair I would need more than that so um, yeah so that's my tip for the week I hope it helps somebody um, this could also be used uh, you know as a similar um, concept in camping with the camp showers and so forth and um, you know not forgetting the township areas however I'm not sure how private that would be but it's a very very economical option if you need to 
be washed or cleaned and you want running water running over you because I've you know done the cowboy showers and things like that but it wasn't it didn't feel you know I didn't feel clean I just want the water to run over me it's a, you know it's just a, maybe a mental thing but also a spiritual thing because even in the mornings as you get ready you want the water to run over you and you need that hot water to run over your body just to relax and get ready for the day so yeah Stay safe, stay warm, and we'll chat soon.